Hey guys, it's Tanaya. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how I do my box braids on my own hair. So I have my hair parted in four sections. I just have the back and one section in the front left. And as you guys can see, I pretty much just pre-parted my hair and just twisted up each section. And this made the box braid process go a lot faster. So I definitely recommend just parting your entire head in four sections and just pre-parting where you want your braids and how big you want them to be because then once you get your braiding hair out all of your box braids are pretty much parted out and you could just move a lot quicker so I'm starting off with these braids here and here is the hair that I'm using this is pre-stretched box braid hair pre-stretched braiding hair from my beauty supply store and get five packs get five just to be on the safe side I ended up using about three but just get five to be safe so as you guys can see the ends come pre-stretched and I am just starting to separate the hair and just kind of choose how thick I want my braids to be. So you just want to start to separate your hair. When you separate your hair and have like 10 to 12 pieces you know out and ready for you to just pick up and braid that's going to make your braiding process a lot quicker too. Instead of just pulling off one piece of hair and then braiding and pulling off another piece just go ahead and just separate as many pieces as you can from that one pack that you opened and then start braiding so you're not wasting time doing that then grab your favorite edge control mine is murray's edge wax i love this stuff it's the best and you want to just start with that first section that you sectioned off for your braid i'm just putting my edge control all around the perimeter and really working that in good so it doesn't turn up like white or anything like that so i'm just rubbing it in really good then you want to go ahead and grab that um section of braiding here that you pulled out and i'm just pulling the ends a little bit to just stretch it out a little bit more and i'm gonna brush it through even though it comes pre-stretched i did stretch it out just a little bit more just to make sure the ends were really feathered Okay, so I'm placing that piece of braiding hair right on top of my hair that's sectioned off and twisting it underneath and I'm starting that braid. So I'm using my hair as that third piece of the braid and I am just beginning to braid down. And what I'm going to show you guys next is how I end up adding the braiding hair to that section of my real hair that's acting as that third piece. So what I'm going to do here is I'm basically just going to take a little bit of that braiding hair from one of the sections and add it to my hair. And then I'm going to braid down a little more and then take some braiding hair from the other section, pluck off a little piece and add it to the section that has my hair in it. And then I'm just going to continue to plait down. And just to mention, some people do that part towards the beginning of the braid because it will cause like a little disruption in the neatness of how the plait looks. So some people do this towards the, the top of the braid. And if you watch other tutorials, some people completely start their braid off differently than mine. So you just kind of have to figure out which method is best for you when you're looking at different braid tutorials. So I'm going to slow this down for you guys again. I'm placing that braiding hair over my hair, the section that I parted off, grabbing it with my hand, tucking that right side underneath, putting the left side underneath the right, and then I am basically beginning my plait. So you're going to move my hair underneath the middle there after I push up the braiding hair, my hair underneath the middle. So they just swap places and then that left side underneath the middle then you're going to go right side underneath the middle left side underneath the middle and so forth and then i'm just going to have you guys watch how i take some hair from the two sections that are just braiding here and add it to mine so i just sped it up a little bit so you can see i'm just taking a piece of braiding hair from one of the sections and i'm just adding it to the middle section that just has my hair and then i'm going to continue to braid down a little bit and then I'm going to do the same thing to that other section and just take a little bit of braiding hair from that other section and add it to the section with my hair and just continue to braid all the way down. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you guys another section. So we're still in the front. I'm just going to take my Murray's Edge Wax and I am going to just put that edge control on the perimeter of that section and get that in there really good. Just make sure I just, you know, get that all in there so there's like no whiteness and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to grab my braiding hair and start this braid. Okay, so I'm taking that piece of braiding here, going right on top of that section as you guys can see, I'm using my hair as that third piece and I am just going to begin to start the plait and plait all the way down. I do slide that braiding here up a little bit as close to the scalp as I can get it without it being too tight. And then um, you guys will see me starting to add some of that braiding here from those two sections into the section that has my hair as the third piece. Okay, so here is the back section of my hair. Again, I just pre-parted my hair and just twisted each section so that I can move quicker with my braids. When I do my own braids, I don't really care how straight my parts are as long as it looks decent. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down for you guys. After I put some edge control over this section, I just grabbed my braiding hair and I am going to put that loop of braiding hair right on top of my hair. And then I'm grabbing my hair and putting the right side over the left and then the left side over the right. And I am beginning to plait down. And then I am going to just start the process of adding some of that braiding hair to my middle section that has my hair in it plaiting down a little more and taking from the other piece adding that to that section again with my hair and then just braiding down the rest of the way Okay guys, so I pretty much finished my braids. Once you're done doing all of your braids, I highly recommend you pre-part your hair. I took a shower, I got dressed, it took me six hours. So down here, I'm gonna show you guys, I have a pot of boiling water. I already did this side, but I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do just to seal in your ends so your ends aren't all fray and it'll look neat. So I'm gonna take this side so you can see the difference between these ends and the ones I just did. You take your braids and you dip it into the hot water, but you want to make sure you have a towel right next to you because this water is hot. And you want to take your towel and just kind of dry it off if you have not um, one of the braids that doesn't like get straight after you dip it in hot water just re-dip it until your ends you know look neat and straight and then you just want to let it air dry now my braids are done just to show you guys the back but my braids they're not like crazy long um, the last set of braids not this braids I had I had got it done and it was like past my butt that was the longest I had it but I did these by myself. This was supposed to be a knotless box braid tutorial, but your girl gotta keep practicing on the knotless method because it was not working out, so I just ended up doing regular box braids. But my biggest tip is, just like how you guys saw earlier in the earlier clip, part your natural hair in four uh, boxes, four sections, and then pre-part your hair all throughout pre uh, section off your um your braiding hair and then put some music on and just get to it so it took me six hours to do my box braids i did three hours of it yesterday I took a break i did the front and then today i did the back so six hours i ended up using about two and a half to three packs of hair but i had five so i just recommend you guys buying five bags of pre-stretched hair i use pre-stretched hair because i don't have time to be pulling and stretching 
cut all that out get the pre-stretched um, box braid here um, I don't know how many exact braids I have all throughout my head but it took me six hours and I used five packs and yeah so if you guys found this video helpful definitely uh, drop down in my comments section let me know some of your tips when you have box braids I'm gonna keep these in for anywhere from four to five weeks and I will see you next time bye